Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're back for episode 7 of Forza Horizon 5. And in this episode, like I promised in the last one, we are going to be drifting the drift zone on the mountain. So basically it goes from, uh, where does it go from? Right at the bottom there to pretty much right at the top, I think. I think it goes to about here. So it's like a four mile long drift zone. So I'm excited to do this. It's probably going to take me a couple attempts, I feel like. To get a three star on this, you need 500,000 points, which I really, really want to do. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today. If we have time, I would also like to do the drift zone on the other side of the mountain in the dirt. We're going to see what happens. Uh, we're going to try to do the actual drifting part first and then maybe do a rally build as well later on in the episode. Anyway guys, I have a car in mind that I want to do for the drift build. I think it should be it should be a pretty good build. Um, it's a really, really clean car. Um, I'm not sure if it has any body kits or anything like that, but I guess we're going to find out. So we're going to go into the auto show and we're going to go all the way over to Nissan. And the car I want to build today is the Nissan Silvia Spec R from 2000. This this thing is such a sick car. I really, really like these. If you're into drifting or anything like that, or into just JDM cars in general, you probably know what a Sylvia is. I honestly don't know a lot about the car. All I know is that I really, really like it. So I think we're going to go for it. And they're red, I feel like. I feel like the red looks really good. So we're going to buy this. Alrighty. So we've got the car. Now we need to go into the garage and go into the upgrades. Custom upgrades and let's see, is there a body kit for this thing? There's not really. There are custom aero and performance upgrades though. So we have lots of options here. Okay, well, personally, I kind of like this one, the Ings front bumper. Um, I also like the top secret one though too. Let's actually go for the top secret. For the wing, we have a lot of options too. However, I kind of think all the wing options are like ugly. I think the stock spoiler looks the best or just removing it in general. We're going to keep the stock spoiler though. I like that the best, I think. So for the rear bumper, of course, we have a few options here. Kind of like the trial one, but also the top secret one kind of goes with what we already got. Kind of like the Nismo rear bumper. I almost want to go for that. The top secret one's pretty clean too. So let's go for that one. The Nismo side skirts are kind of cool. Top secret ones are nice though too. Let's go for the top secret just to, just to keep everything matched up. We do have a West hood that we could add to this thing. I think let's do it. Why not? Next up here, um, I'm not sure if we want to do an engine swap on this thing or if we want to just the stock engine. This is 2JZ that we could swap into it, which is the Supra's motor. This is the RB26 from the Nissan GTR, I think, the R34. Um, or we have the 3.2 liter inline six. I'm tempted to go with a 2J, but I'm also tempted to just stay stock. I think we got to go with a 2J swap though. 2J swap is that's that's gonna that's gonna provide us enough power um for the tire compound i'm gonna go with sport and for the tires we're gonna widen these up as much as we can and then of course we are also going to put the wheels out as far as possible and as far as the rims go i was looking at these earlier the adv ones um i really really like these so we're gonna throw those on i'm also gonna increase the size of them like that i feel like that looks pretty good so that's a that's a pretty good start for the drivetrain here um we're definitely going to put on a race transmission and the clutch uh, we need the drift differential so we'll add that to the car too as far as the brakes go we got to upgrade those for sure let's add the drift springs as well and the anti-roll bars weight reduction we're gonna want that too so let's do that now for the engine i don't honestly think we're gonna need much more horsepower we already have 805 um we could go up to 1015 i don't know if we need it though to be honest we're gonna we're gonna just bring the displacement back to normal 916 horsepower is more than enough to drift like it's way more than enough so we'll just we'll just do that okay so we've got our build pretty much done i think so we're gonna buy all of this stuff all right and next up here we got to go to the design and the paint um i think i want to keep the red i want to keep the wheel color too honestly um the calipers let's just leave those alone and let's just tint the windows out pretty much i think and then we're pretty much good this thing is really clean i love this car 
It looks so good in my opinion. Let's save that to the current car. Now before we go all the way over to the mountain, I just want to make sure that this thing actually drifts like we want it to and it's not, you know, too powerful or underpowered or anything. So we're just going to do a little test drift around the uh, the little town right outside of the house here. I just want to make sure that this thing feels good and everything. I honestly feel like the tires might not have enough grip. I almost feel like upgrading the tires a little bit more to semi-slicks, which might sound a little insane, but honestly, the thing has got a lot of power. I just want to make sure that we can, you know, put the power down and actually get ourselves out of a corner without, you know, falling off the mountain. So we are going to upgrade the tires really, really quick, and then we will head over to the mountain. All right, guys, so I just equipped the semi-slick tires on this thing. I want to see how it performs now when I drift it. It's a little bit easier to control, I'm finding, so that is a good thing. I can actually drive it in a straight line if I need to, but uh, obviously when we're drifting, not exactly going to be doing that a lot, I don't think. So, yeah, this thing seems pretty much fine. I think we're I think we're going to be good to take this and uh do some do some serious drifting here. So, let's uh let's head over to the mountain. I'll see you guys there in a second. We're doing some pretty high speed drifting coming into the uh coming into the thing here. So, let's see if I can just get a little bit warmed up before we get to the drift zone around these corners here down at the bottom of the hill. I'm feeling like third gear is going to be the gear that uh, I'm going to want to probably stay in for most of this. Because third gear feels pretty darn nice, I gotta say, so... Probably just going to stick with that. Okay, okay. Alright, here we go. Here's the start of the drift zone, boys. Let's see what we can do. 500,000 points is the target, so let's see if we can smash that. We're already doing pretty darn good, I gotta say, so... Um, we'll see. We'll see how high we can get here for the drift zone. Okay, well, we're already at... Okay. Okay, I'm not going to say anything, because you never know. Um, but I am feeling pretty confident that we can do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. This thing is drifting like a dream right now, boys. I'm not going to lie. This thing feels solid. I'm really glad that I put these semi-slicks on this. Because if I didn't, I it, it would be a little bit a little bit more challenging to do this. Okay, well, we're a third of the way there. Over a third of the way there. So, let's just keep it up. I said when I came up here originally that I wouldn't be surprised if you could hit a million skill score on uh, on this drift zone, and I'm starting to think that maybe I wasn't wrong, uh, because this is feeling pretty darn good. Oh my god, look at that drift. Oh. Oh man. Oh my god. Okay, there's 500k. Let's go for a million. Let's see if we can do it. Kind of missed that corner there. That that might hurt us later on. We're going to see. That guy's doing the drift zone in a truck, it looked like. I don't know what he's doing. Good luck, though. For sure. Oh, yeah. This 
There's a lot of people up here drifting right now. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Oof. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if let's see about this corner here. The drift zone ends really soon here, guys. We're gonna have to see what we can do. This is a big corner though. Ooh. Oh man. All right, here we go. Oh, 931,000 points, boys. Damn, son. That was satisfying. Man, this thing feels great. I love this car. I'm super impressed with this car, boys. That This thing just killed that. That was super fun. I wonder if we can set a higher score going down, though. I'm, I'm very tempted to try. I think we're going to try, so I just need to take a sip of water here before we go back down. But uh, that was lethal. That was a sick drift zone. Okay, I'm ready to go for it again. Let's see if we can do this, boys. A million skill points. Let's go for it. All right, boys, we're going to come in drifting. Let's see what we can do here. I don't want to go too, too fast. Oh, man. Oh, baby. I feel like going down is definitely going to be uh, going to be the wave. You're going to get a lot more speed this way, that's for sure. Kind of completely missed that corner. That was kind of bad, but we'll see. We'll see if we can. Uh, we'll see if we can redeem ourselves. Drift zone's not going as well on the way down as it was on the way up, I feel like. Oh, I'm in fourth gear, maybe that's why. Third gear is the sweet spot with this car, I feel like, at least with my build that I've got on it now. Oh, baby, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh man, going down is a lot harder than coming up, actually. You just get too much speed going down. At least right now. I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure I'll get it dialed in, but... Oh my god, let's go. Alright, last two, three corners pretty much here. Let's see if we can do this. Oh man, not quite as good as the first run, honestly. That's a shame. Well, I think that's pretty much it for drifting up here. Uh, maybe it's time that we go and actually do a rally build. I, I think that would be kind of cool to do. So maybe we'll go and do that really quick and then we will try to do this drift zone on the other side of the mountain on the dirt. So let's give that a shot. All right, let's teleport back to the home and I think I actually have a car that we could build. All right, guys, now I actually won this car the other day uh, from a wheel spin and I didn't really know what to do with it, but it is a Subaru and it kind of makes sense that we should take it and make it into a 
a rally car. So let's take it into the shop here. We have a bunch of stuff that we can actually do to it. Let's put on the Sims front bumper. That looks sick, first of all. Can add the spare tire onto the roof. Let's, let's do it, I guess. Why not? For the rear bumper, hmm. I kind of like the, the charge one the best, so let's go for that one. For the side skirts, we can do the charge or the Sims. It looks crazy, so let's do that. On the front of the vehicle, we can do can do a roof scoop and also the headlights. Let's do it. Looks pretty rally rallyish to me. Next up, let's add some rally tire compound to this thing. Let's uh, widen up the tires as well. 275s. Let's also kick the wheels out. Those gold PBS look really good already, so we're not going to change those because I like those a lot. Uh, we will make the clutch a bit faster and the transmission as well. Let's add a rally diff to this thing. Next up, let's increase the brakes, make those a bit better. Let's add rally springs as well. Anti-roll bars, for sure. We need a weight reduction on this thing. And in case we go flying off of a cliff, let's put the roll cage in too. Now, next up, let's build the motor up a bit here. Um, let's just completely max this thing out. All right, how much horsepower does this thing actually have now that we're almost done with it here? 574 horsepower. I feel like that's that's a pretty good amount. So we'll just stick with this. Let's install this setup. Yeah, seems seems pretty darn good to me. Honestly, I'm thinking about removing that tire off the roof there because it does look a little stupid. Yeah, let's just take it off. There we go. That's, that's a good looking Subaru right there. All right, now to actually tune this thing. Uh, we need way less tire pressure, like probably 18 PSI. Let's do that. Speed, well, yeah, we'll give it a bit more speed. Why not? Uh, it's got a maxed out ride height. That's good. And it's going to have to be more like 75% of the rear wheels because we need to drift this thing around, uh, around these corners in this drift zone. So I think that's pretty much it for the build. Let's get this thing over to the mountain and uh, see what we can actually do. Oh man, yeah, it, it handles pretty nicely off-road, I gotta say. Cool, okay. Well, I will see you guys at the mountain. All right, guys, here we are at the base of the mountain. Let's head on up, see how this thing performs in the actual drift zone. I'm interested to see, so. I'm interested to just see how well this thing performs at getting up the mountain in general. Now this drift zone target is 130,000 points, so we're gonna have to see how we can uh, how we can do here. I I think we can do it though. I think we can even do it first try. We're gonna have to see, but uh, I I've got some confidence going into this. All right, the drift zone is just ahead of us here. It is a ways away, so we got a second here, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little bit intense. I feel like so. All right, here we go. Drift zone is right here. Let's uh, let's go in. Start off strong. Okay, yeah, we've already got twenty-five thousand points. Okay. Doing pretty good so far. Okay. Ooh. A little slow in that corner. I think I think we got this in the bag though, boys. Yeah, yeah, it's in the bag. As long as we don't fly off the cliff here. We got this. Here we go. Oh, 142,000 first try. Let's go. We did we did super good at that. This thing's a beast. Wish it had a little more horsepower to be honest, but uh it's not bad. It's not bad, that's for sure. Let's uh I guess let's just continue going up the hill because why not? We're already this far up. Let's see how fast we can get uh get on this speed trap up ahead here in the Subaru. Probably not that fast, but I mean we'll give it a shot. Oh, okay. New new personal best. It's not a record, but it's, it's a new personal best. Eight more miles per hour? I feel like we can do that. Hold on. Let's let's give this a shot. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that a three-star? There we go. That's a three-star. I knew we could do that. 
Let's go. Easy. There's a danger sign up on top of this mountain, I'm pretty sure as well, that we could maybe try out in the Subaru. Oh, there's another speed trap. Let's, let's hit that other speed trap, see how well we can do on that. All right, let's see how we can, uh, let's see how we can do on this speed trap. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, um, mm, 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 I see. We may be falling down the mountain a little bit. Okay, yeah, mm. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just climb back up here. I, I feel like the Subaru's capable. I feel like we can do this. Okay, maybe, maybe a little less than I thought we could do. Let's see. Oh, I, th I think we can do this. We, we got this. We got this. 100%. 100%. 100%. Come on, Subaru. Right. Darn. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got it. Oh. It did that weird little speed, like, glitch where you j it just, like, freezes you for a second for no reason. I'm not really sure why I did that, but... That wasn't even a new record. Oh, 29 miles an hour for three stars. 140, do they want? All right, let's see. Oh, come on. Is that a three star? No. 16 more miles an hour. 150? Holy, that's that's asking a lot for that speed trap. That's 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 a tall order, to be honest. Um, we'll give it a shot though. All right, let's see what we can do here. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Yes, we got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see about this danger sign. I've already three-starred this. When did I do that? Oh, I just had to do that for a challenge to uh, to unlock one of the special cars for this season. So, all right, let's see if we can do this. We're going to launch off of the right-hand side. Yes. Yes. Oh, so close. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh wait, we got the three star. Wait, thousand and ninety two feet. Wait, what? What does that thing take to three star? Oh, it only takes a thousand. Oh, okay, we got it, boys. We did it. Let's go, Subaru, man. This thing's a beast. If we ever need to do any more rallying, we're gonna have to pull this thing out. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's pretty much it for the episode. We pretty much did everything we wanted to this episode. Did the off road rally drift zone and the regular drift zone on the other side of the mountain. So. I'm really happy that we got to do that. Uh, if you guys want to see any more drifting sort of content, I really, really like making that sort of stuff. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you want me to drift a certain car, let me know in the comments down below. Um, somebody asked for a rally build a while ago, so I hope that you watched this video and I hope that you enjoyed this Subaru rally build and uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please leave a like. It always helps me out. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.